Okay, I got to ask this question today. How can I use Zoom to survey my meeting attendees on the best choice of a title for a movie? This is the, this is the scenario. You can make it anything you want, but basically I'm going to create a poll that I'm going to use during a meeting and I'm going to ask the meeting participants to rank five different movie titles between one and five, where one is the title they like the best and five is the title they like the least. So let's do this. By the way, before you can get access to surveys, you must be paying for a premium version of Zoom. I'm paying for Zoom meetings. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and uh, and you do this work, you set this work up in Zoom on the web, but you could just as easily, maybe not as easily, but you could create this poll while you're live in a Zoom meeting. But I'm going to do it from Zoom uh, on the web. I'm going to click over here on Create. I'm not going not to use Survey to Collect Responses through a third-party tool. I'm going to use Poll or Quiz, and I'm going to do Create. So I'm going to give it a title, and I'm going to choose to do rank order. This is the, the model of the poll that I want to do. Now, I want five titles, and I want five rankings. So this is going to be, let me put my titles in real quick. Give me a second. All right, there's my five titles. Now, I want them to be ranked between one, two, three, four, and five. That's how I want them to do it. These are my movie titles, and I want them to be ranked one to five. Now, if I preview, by the way, I can say it's required. It makes me actually have to participate. And over here, the three dots, I can duplicate. This is a question in a poll. I could have other questions as well, but this is the only question I want to have. And if you go over and look over here, there's a sprocket for settings. The only settings is require answers to be anonymous. Well, I don't need that. And this button right here is for me to preview it. And that's basically what it's going to look like when it gets showed, uh, shown during a Zoom meeting. And the, the attendees, not the uh, host, the attendees will be able to rank these in the orders that they want to rank them in. And then they can hit submit and save this during the meeting. And I'm going to go back to Zoom and I'm going to host with video off. And I'm going to invite uh, my cell phone to, to invite me on my cell phone to be a part of it. Give me a second. Copy the link. Now I sent myself an email with the link to be on to be in this poll because remember the host. As I go over here and see, I am the host. I don't have the ability as the host to participate in a poll. I can share a poll. I just can't participate in it. So let me open it up. I muted myself so that I can't hear myself. So now I'm in the in the meeting. Now I'm in the meeting with myself. You over here see participants. You'll see Teddy U and Teddy Burris, the host. So now if I close this and I come down here to polls and under polls and quizzes, I select this poll, launch it. And this is what it's gonna look like on the screen. And that is basically the same thing it looks like on my mobile device. Now, because I'm not the host on my cell phone, I can rank them. So I hit submit. And my, I've, now, I've now submitted on my cell phone. And now I can end the poll. And you'll see if I share the results. So there's the results. And interestingly enough, I thought it rearranged the order, but it doesn't. All it does is it color codes those. You can see that the, the number one has got this orange color, and orange is a three. Yellow right here is a five. And the light blue is a four. Uh, the dark blue is a two. And I don't know what this, maybe that's not a light blue. This is a light blue. But anyway, it's coded them, and you can see one question and everybody participated and again it's color coded and now I can stop sharing and when I stop sharing 
Now it's over. We're back to our regular meeting. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I end the meeting and for all. And now when I go to Zoom, let me find Zoom real quick. When I go to Zoom and I go to my account, and then under my account, I go to surveys, and you can see on this poll, my next movie title, you can see uh, it's, I got one response to one question. And if you look right here, it'll show you these are the poll results. And again, they're color-coded. They didn't get sorted. Kind of hoping they would again. But, you know, the three is the t number one questions of three. The, uh, the number two questions ranked four. The number three question is ranked two. The number four question is ranked number four, is five. And the number one question, I think, is the one or two. I can't tell by the coloring. Wish it was a different uh, way of displaying that. But that is how you launch a poll for ranking uh, items, a list of items, and ranking them in order, and then sharing that poll with your meeting participants and capturing the poll results. I'm Teddy. I love using Zoom. I hope this one idea of using polls for ranking titles or ranking ideas is useful for you. And there again, there are lots of other ways to use Zoom polls. Take care.